Have you ever wanted to learn how to knit or crochet? Well today is your lucky day. Welcome to our cozy corner of the world where needles and yarn rule supreme. Imagine a cold winter evening, a warm cup of tea by your side, and you creating something beautiful stitch by stitch. It's not just about crafting, but also about the calm and tranquility that knitting and crocheting can bring into your life. First, we'll start with knitting. It's a simple process that begins with choosing your tools. You'll need two knitting needles and a ball of yarn. The size of the needles and thickness of the yarn can vary based on your project, but for beginners, medium-sized needles and yarn are a good start. Now the first step in knitting is making a slip knot. This is the starting point of all knitting projects. Loop the yarn around your fingers, pull a loop through and tighten. Slide this knot onto one of your knitting needles and voila, you've made your first stitch. Next, we move on to casting on. This process adds more stitches to your needle and determines the width of your knitting project. Hold the needle with the slip knot in your left hand. Take the other needle in your right hand, insert it into the loop, yarn over and pull it through. Repeat this until you have the desired number of stitches. Now comes the main part of knitting, the knit stitch. This stitch forms the basic fabric in knitting. Insert your right needle into the first stitch on the left needle. Wrap the yarn around and pull it through to create a new loop. Transfer this new loop onto the right needle. Repeat this process for every stitch on the left needle. Once you've mastered the knit stitch, you can experiment with variations like the purl stitch, rib stitch, and many more to create different textures and patterns. Moving on to crochet, the process is a bit different but equally rewarding. You'll need a crochet hook and yarn for this. The first step is similar to knitting, making a slip knot, but instead of two needles you're working with one hook. Casting on in crochet is known as creating a chain. Loop the yarn over your hook and pull it through the loop on the hook. This creates another loop, or chain. Repeat this process to create a chain of desired length. The basic stitch in crochet is the single crochet stitch. Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again and pull through both loops on the hook. Repeat this for every chain. Just like knitting, crochet also offers a variety of stitches like double crochet, treble crochet and more, each creating a unique pattern and texture. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't worry if your stitches aren't even or your patterns don't look right at first. Keep at it and soon you'll be creating beautiful pieces of art with just needles, hooks and yarn. We have now reached the end of the video where we invite you to become a part of our crafting community. So, if you found this video helpful, do give it a like. Share it with your friends who might enjoy knitting or crocheting. Subscribe to our channel for more crafty content and leave a comment below about your knitting or crocheting journey. And don't forget, there's a bonus at the end of every video so make sure to watch till the end. Until next time, keep those needles clicking and hooks looping.